Hi, this is Jeff, your ProtoPie expert again, answering your ProtoPie questions. Today's question is one we get asked an awful lot, and that is, how do I simulate a map app? I'm going to show you how to do that today, and it's going to blow your mind how easy this is to do. I've got two screens open here, by the way. I've got ProtoPie here on the left, and then I've got QuickTime open on the right, which is mirroring my phone. Because we need to work with multi-touch here, and that's two-finger pinch and zoom and rotate, you can't do those on the computer simulator. You actually need to do this on your phone. So I've got it running on my phone, and it's mirrored through QuickTime so you can see what's going on. In my Pi, I have two layers. I have this map layer, which is just an image that looks like a map, and I've got the UI layer, which are these boxes on top. We're going to work mostly with the map layer today. The first thing I want to do is I want to make it such that I can pan the map around with one finger. So I'm going to add a drag trigger, and I want that to work on the map, and I want to move the map. Make sure it's on map here. And I have to hit the run button to restart it on my phone each time. And now let's try dragging around. Not working. Okay, what do we need to fix here? Our map is underneath another layer here. This group covers pretty much the entire screen, and we need to allow the touch event to pass through to the map. And we do that in the bottom right here under Make Lower Layers Touchable. So I'm going to turn that on, restart it on my phone, and there we go. I can drag the map around. Step one, great. Let's make it so we can zoom the map. And I want to use pinch zoom for this, so I'm going to use the pinch trigger. I want this again on the map layer. And we're going to use the scale option, which is the only option you have. And I want that to scale on the map. Restart it. And I can pan. And I can zoom. Look at that. Now, the last thing I want to do is I want to make it such that when I rotate my fingers together like this, the map rotates with it. So let's add the rotate trigger. And this is two finger rotate. So as you can imagine, Protopie is doing pretty much all the work here for us. We're going to use the map layer and we want to rotate the map. Restart it and I can pan, I can zoom and I can rotate. Look at that. I think it took what a minute to do this. Now, I can hear at least one of you yelling at me, excuse me, Mr. Protopie expert, but every map app I've ever seen has this little blue dot that indicates my location, and that dot moves around with the map. All right, I'll show you how to do that, too. Why don't we just add a blue dot, and we'll put it right here on City College, San Francisco, and I'm just going to add a shape here. We'll add an oval, and we'll draw it out. 16 pixels is good, and we'll color it blue because that dot is always blue. We'll add a white border. We'll put the border on the outside and say two pixels. And why don't we give it a shadow on there? And I just want to see, I'm going to turn off the fill for a second. And that looks pretty close to centered right over top of that. All right. Now, if I run this, obviously, I can pan the map around. But that blue dot just kind of stays floating where it is. We need to associate the dot with the map. And an easy way to do that is to take the dot. Here, let's rename it location, by the way. And I'm going to put them into a group together. So I'm going to select location and then hold down shift and select map. And then on my keyboard, I'm going to press command G or control G on Windows. And that will group them into a container. And let's call this map container. Great. Now what I need to do is I need to change my logic because right now it's all working on the map layer. But I want it to now work on the map container layer. So let's change all these. So I'm going to hold down shift and click the bottom one here and all three of them get selected and I can switch all three of these to map container in one go. Now the responses I can't do together. You can't multiple select responses that are in different triggers, only within the same trigger. So you can see if I hold down shift and I try to click on scale or rotate, it's not selecting them. So we have to do these one at a time. Take the move, we'll change that to map container, scale, map container, rotate, map container. All right, so in theory, that should be all we need to do. Here we go, okay, I can pan around and the blue dot is moving there. Let's try zooming. Okay, well, that didn't work. Something's gone weird there. All right, let's take a look and see what's happening. The map layer has a constraint set on it. It has fixed width and fixed height. And this means it doesn't matter if the container that it sits in changes its shape, the map will retain its native pixel size, or at least whatever pixel size it had at the beginning of your prototype. We want to turn that off because we want the map layer to scale with its parent. So let's turn that off. And you're going to notice, by the way, 
that they both turned on and off at the same time. And that's because I have width and height locked to each other. That's the maintain aspect ratio. If I were to turn this off, then I could select these individually. Right, but I'm gonna keep this locked and I'm gonna turn them both off. All right, let's reset it. Okay, I can still pan. I can zoom. So the map is zooming, but then the dot is going up and down to the left and the right here. So how do we fix that? So the location dot also has a constraint set on it, and that's this this one here and this one here. And essentially what this means is that the dot will maintain an equal distance or the same distance from the top and from the left, regardless of how the map container size changes. We don't want that. We want the dot to stay proportionally in the same spot within the container. So I'm going to turn both of those off. Now let's try running this and see what happens. I can pan. I can zoom. And I can rotate. Look at that. Now you will notice too that the dot maintains its size regardless of how much I zoom in and zoom out here. And that is because the same constraint that we turned off of the map layer is actually working in our favor for the location. If I were to turn this constraint off for the location dot and run this, then the dot is now going to scale up and down with the container. And that's not really how these map apps work. The dot maintains its size throughout. So let's keep that on. And then the last thing I want to do here is every map app I've ever seen has that blue dot more or less centered in the beginning for starting. So I'm just going to move that just so that way when it starts, the dot is in the center. And now I can pan this around. I can zoom in and out, and that dot maintains its size, and I can rotate. Look at that. Now we can put some constraints on here. You can see that I can zoom pretty much indefinitely up in here and it starts to get, you know, it zooms really small and it zooms really big. So let's put a limit on how much we can zoom in and out. So on the pinch scale, we have these limit options and I'm going to set a minimum size that this can go of 1000 by 1000 pixels and a maximum of 5000 by 5000 pixels. Now when I run this, you're going to see I can only zoom out so much and you can see I'm trying to zoom out and I can't and I can only zoom in so much. So that puts a nice limit on it. You can also do limits with the moving and that kind of stuff too, but I think this is pretty much pretty good enough for what we're trying to show here. There you go. Easy as pie. If you're having problems with one of your pies and you'd like to ask us for help, check out the link in the description below. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.